Dang, that kickstand's goofy. It almost doesn't even feel like it's in all the way. So there you have it, you guys. 2018 Harley Davidson Fat Bob. Pretty stoked on these. And my initial impression of right, I dig this thing. I love the fatty front tire. It's got the 107. This is stock exhaust. Looks pretty dope, all things considered. All right, you guys, today's a big day here on John's Moto Garage. Welcome to the channel. This is John. And as you can see, we are sitting atop a 2018. That's right, this thing is practically brand spanking new. Harley Davidson Iron. Oh, wait, Iron, no. Harley Davidson Fat Bob. The ultimate. Anyway, so it's a 2018 Harley Fab Bob, the new 107, Milwaukee 8, I believe. Honestly, I haven't done a ton of research on these. I had to drive halfway out to freaking California to check this thing out. And we are taking her for a test ride. First impressions, just looking at the motorcycle. I've seen pictures online. And initially, I kind of had mixed feelings about these things because it doesn't really look like a Harley, you know? It's completely redesigned. But you guys have seen all those videos, so I'm not really going to talk about the looks. I think it looks dope for what it is. I really do. What I'm curious to see is how she rides. And bam, right off the bat, I can tell you this thing freaking seems smoother as far as acceleration goes. I think than any Harley, I would venture to say that I have ever ridden thus far. And I've owned two other fat bobs. One was a 2014 and a 2015, I think. Now this one's got your stock exhaust, of course. But yeah, this thing's smooth. Six speed, oil cooled. Still got the belt drive. I love the drag bars, I'm digging it. It's got the forward controls. Now it doesn't seem that it's got a smaller gas tank. It's just like, it's almost like a completely different bike from the, the old Fab Bobs. Completely redesigned. But first impressions as far as the ride goes, I'm digging it. I like it. Um, I'm not going to go too far. Got to get back to the truck. But as you can see, we already talked price before coming out here. In my next video, I will show you what I paid for the bike. And we'll go over all that stuff. But I'm pretty stoked on this thing. Uh, oh crap, where am I? I'm in the middle of a stop sign. Let's turn this, we'll use a turn signal here. There we go. Oh man, this thing is wicked fun. Yeah, it's very smooth. It really does not feel like many of the Harleys that I've ridden. I think I watched a review on one of these like eight months ago and never really followed up on it. This one I saw used and the guy had it listed at a really good price. Given that it's practically brand new, it's got like 800 miles. And so I watched it for a little few days, he dropped the price and then finally I hit him up on it. This thing's dope. So we'll load her up in the truck. Surprisingly, the guy has the title in hand. Usually on new bikes like this, people have them financed and there's still a lien or a loan on the bike and it's a big headache. But I was surprised when this dude said he had it paid for and he had the title ready to go. So I will go load the bike up and we will head back to La Casa, to the garage. We'll get a good look of the moto. Actually, I'll pull over right here just so you guys can get a good look at it. Dang, that kickstand's goofy. It almost doesn't even feel like it's in all the way. So there you have it, you guys. 2018 Harley Davidson Fat Bob. Pretty stoked on these. And my initial impression of right, I dig this thing. I love the fatty front tire. It's got the 107. This is stock exhaust. Looks pretty dope, all things considered. You got the new front headlight. It's a uh, good looking moto. 
and you got the lurkers it definitely reminds me a little bit more of your metric motos but not the parts I don't like about the metric motos a lot of the metric motos feel like a little cheap and I'm referring more to the cruisers they're and actually only certain brands Yamaha's in general I dig a lot for the metric cruisers the Stratoliner the Roadliner the Raiders and as far as the sport bikes go I think they have those real down and dialed and refined um, but this one reminds me I'd probably say the most of some of the Yamahas I've ridden as far as cruisers go so let's go get this sucker loaded up in the truck and like I said next video I'll show you what I paid for the bike we'll go over all those details I'll do a walk around and a more thorough ride through the barrio on the Harley Davidson Fat Bob and again this is a 2010 uh, here we are. Or, what am I talking about? 2018. It's like brand new. Yeah, that kickstand, it sort of goes back a little bit. Yeah. When you, it should pull back a little. Let me see some. Oh, okay, right there. Oh, there it goes. Maybe it goes over there. Okay. Yeah, I'll take it for sure. This thing... I, I, yeah, count it out yourself just to be just to be sure. All right, you guys, as you can see, we got the bike unloaded. It's already dark outside, so here we are. But this is it, 2018 Harley-Davidson Fat Bob 107 cubic inch. This one is basically bone stock. It is, thus far, fun bike to mob around on. And we'll wait till the novelty wears off and see what we think once the dust has settled. But all in all, I dig the look of them. Um, it is definitely different than your other Harleys, no doubt about that. But ride-wise, first impressions, I dig the way it rides, I like how it runs. Super smooth acceleration, shifts smooth, brakes are great. I haven't done an extensive ride, so I really couldn't give you too much detail as far as how it really handles. But thus far, zipping up and down the street, fun bike, I like it. So if you dig the way they look, and you like the moto, definitely a good option this one's all blacked out I'm always a fan of the blacked out look all right you guys that's gonna do it for this session on John's Moto Garage as always gracias for tuning in and we'll hit you up on the next one adios